Hey guys, and welcome to Blank Dream. This is an RPG Maker game that's been sitting in my download folder for quite a while, and now I'm finally getting around to playing it. Thinking back, it was a boring life. I wouldn't say it was entirely devoid of enjoyment, but if you asked whether I'd live the same life again, I'd absolutely refuse, without a doubt. In fact, if I had to say, I've come to hate it all. I wish my life had never even existed. More or less. And so I, Mishiro Usui, never having a 17th birthday, threw myself into this lake. Where am I? What was I just... Right as the girl regained consciousness, she realized she didn't remember who she was. Oh. Okay, I guess we're at the bottom of the lake. What are you, fire guy? Oh. Onwards. A mirror that shows no reflection. That's unsettling. I, uh, guess I'll just walk away. Oh, eh. <laughs> It was just lagging. Hi, Mirror. I'm... I guess I'll talk to myself. <laughs> Hello, me. I am you and you are me. It's a mirror. Obvious, right? Oh, I've lost my memories. Don't worry, me. I know how to get them back. Now, look into the eyes of your reflection. I can do that. Wait, if I'm looking at myself in the mirror, aren't I always looking at my eyes? Whatever, go. A familiar place appeared before the girl's eyes. The closet's packed with black clothes with frills. The girl felt she'd like to wear clothes like this. Full of accessories. Oh. The teddy bear stares with round eyes. The girl felt that this bear was very important to her. A school bag rests on the desk. The girl took out a notebook. Kikunomiya Academy, Class 1-2. Mishiro Usui. Her picture's on the cover. Fantastic. It's on my computer. The girl unconsciously went to power it on, but stopped. Hmm. The girl felt an unconscious urge to sleep here. That bed certainly looks comfy. I would love to just dive in there, but I'm dead. A familiar dresser. The girl felt makeup wasn't worth the effort. What am I- oh. A small knife is in the desk drawer. It felt familiar in the girl's hands. It's cause you like to cook, right? Let's get out of here. It won't open. Um, how do you get out of a locked room? Teddy bear stares with round eyes. Yeah, um. <sighs> okay, a smallish knife. Why not try it out? Well, you have nothing to cut, but yourself. Let's, let's do it. Ow. Ow. My volume is way too loud. Hold on. The girl came too. Again, standing before the mirror. Though she still felt a vigorous feeling in her hands, there was no trace of a knife or wound. What? Welcome back. How did it feel, killing yourself in the mirror? What's with that look? You got a problem? Come on, I taught you how to get your memories back. Huh? Uh. Mishiro Usui, 16. I drowned myself in the lake. See? 
Only partial, but you remembered. Remembered your name and how you died. Look for the mirrors in this world, and then break them. All across this world are mirrors with your reflection. They reflect your memories. And you see how to break them, right? Just finish yourself off in the mirror. Break the mirrors. You'll get back your memories, and at the same time grant your wish. Once you break all the mirrors, you'll have it all back, and can realize your wish. That's the way it works. My wish. Got it? Don't just look. You have to break them. That's what granting your wish entails. Why's that, you ask? Remember that part yourself. Now find the mirrors. Ah. Oh. I don't remember why it came to that, but I remember that strong wish I had. To make it so my life never even existed. Just as Mishiro regained a piece of her memory, she felt as if she'd lost something important. What? The mirror speaks no longer. As they should. Oh, I'll throw down a safe. Okay, this game is not gonna be happy. Where am I? Huh? Are you new here, maybe? Whoa, I picked one heck of a moment to be here. Yeah, I'm sure this is all a coincidence. Uh, I suspect you. Oh, sorry. Here I am getting all excited. You just came to this world, right? So I bet you're confused. I'm Yuzu. I'm sure you can't remember your name, but don't fret. Everybody's like that at first. I know my name. Oh, that's very polite of... Wait, you do know your name? That's weird. It took me so long for me to remember mine. Who cares about you? That's not nice. Where is this? This is known as the Mirror World. It seems to be a world for souls with strong wishes or attachments. I think it's one of those places between life and the afterlife. Maybe. I just found myself here one day, so I can't tell you anything concrete. Souls with strong wishes. But the weird thing is, while I remember having died with some strong wish, I can't actually remember that wish. You have any ideas, Mishiro? I remember my wish. Wow, you can be really mean in this game. What? You remember your wish? And how- Well, that was a weird reading. You remember your wish? And you know how to grant it? Hold up, Mishiro. How blessed are you? Gosh, the world's not fair even in death. Well, anyway. If you're gonna walk around, be careful of the evil spirits wandering here. Because they'll be jealous of a soul who can grant their wish, no doubt. A spirit like you? When I remembered my name, I saw a mirror. It was so long ago, I don't remember too well. But I'm sure those mirrors are important to this world. That's why it's called the Mirror World. Why doesn't Mishiro just tell her how to do the wishes? Okay. And so we begin our trek in this... strange new world. Realm of Death. No life can live before a distorted wheel. Gold door is locked. Looks like we're gonna need a gold key. Probably? Um. What? Decorative axes. Take one. Um. I. I guess? Mishiro unfastened the latch and took the axe. I got a decorative axe. How useful is that? Probably not very. Decorative shield. Oh, you don't want that, Mishiro? <gasps> Why? Why did the... The decorative shield is smashed. Was that made of glass or something? Um... Okay. Now we're in a weird forest place. Ah. Uh, a large tree blocks the path. There seems to be no way ahead. Well, I can use this axe to cut it down. The dull decorative axe can't even make a cut. Well, damn. Just gotta go the long way. Just around the side here. Yep. Why is there a loop? Am I gonna get chased?
Is that fire or something crawling around? Oh look, a teddy bear. Those are always comforting. The teddy bear stares with their own eyes. Cute. Very cute. I'm sure it's not gonna kill me. Ah. Uh, a fireplace. The fireplace quietly lights up the room. A weak flame flickers in the lantern. I'll take it. You have to take everything in these games. <laughs> Ugh! Mishiro heard the fireplace go out, the room swallowed by darkness. This is the weakest lantern ever. I'm gonna die. What? Are you? Where am I? I can't see these things clearly. <laughs> it's so dark! Wow! Thanks. Um... What? Are those hand marks? Those are hand marks. I thought they were flowers. What was that noise? Those are a lot of hand marks. Uh, I'll just go the way I came. I don't know where that was though. Maybe it was this way. Yes, it was. Okay, we have a lantern now. I don't know if that was all I needed. A dead tree. Ah, uh, that has to be able to be cut down. What? But it's a dead tree. It's weaker than a full grown tree. Um, did I miss something back here? I feel like I probably did. I'm gonna, wait, uh, wait, um, no, yeah, I'll just, you know what, screw this place. I have to go up, there's more things up here. Uh, I'll go with the one further to the right. Bronze door is locked. Okay, I'm not taking that door. Uh, why is there blood there? Am I gonna die when I step on that? The watchman is a fool who can only judge by number. Can't he tell at least the real thing from a fake? What are you referring to? Are you referring to my decorative axe? The stone statue quietly looms. The box is full of axes for cutting trees. I will take one. Okay. Great. Wait, why am I not... I guess I'll just go cut down the tree. Where'd the door go? Great! Thank you for that. I need to, um, put the decorative axe in the box first. I didn't save. Crap. Hold on. Okay, now we gotta do the old switcheroo. Gotta take this axe and then stick that in the... I can't. Why? Uh, maybe you have to take the box, I mean the axe first. Alright, and then... Come on, really? I did this wrong again, didn't I? Oh! Why did that work now? Alright, I'll just go. No problems. No problems were had. I'll just save again here. And then we'll cut down the tree, because I have very strong arms. It's too thick to chop down with an axe. But I can chop down the dead tree over here. I didn't mean, mean to use the knife. Mishiro fumbled in an attempt to fell the dead tree. Got firewood! The axe's blade broke, making it useless. Why is there blood on the tree stump? <gasps> Why the hell are there crows in this realm of death? Wait, I have a log? Firewood. Dry and flammable. Um, maybe I could burn the tree down. Did that do anything? The lantern's flame could burn it down, but the fire's weak. That's why you have this. Mishiro placed the firewood by the tree, then lit it with a lantern's flame. That puzzle doesn't make any sense. No, it does, actually. Wow! The tree burned fiercely. Okay, the tree was burnt down to ashes. Take that, Mother Nature. Um... This spaceship sound I hear a lot. 
in these games. There's a mirror. Six months ago. Thinking back, it was a boring life. I wouldn't say it was... This is the intro. Mirror Lake. I might as well just test that rumor. Mirror Lake, a lake in a desolate park about a 20 minute train ride from home. There was an old rumor about it. It was said. Hey, nice weather, huh? What? Oh. I'm talking to you. No one else here, is there? And who would you be? Oh, just a passing high school student. But I noticed you staring at the lake with that hollow look. There's always a chance, so... I thought I should call out to you. That's unnecessary. I'm not gonna jump in or anything. That's good to hear. But there are strange rumors about Mirror Lake. Stuff like it being a gate between our world and the afterlife. Myself, I just see it as being true to its na- what? Myself, I just see it being true to its name reflecting the park's natural scenery like a mirror. You're probably thinking, this guy sure talks a lot, huh? You see, I'm going on talking to you to make sure you don't get any ideas. I said I'm not jumping in. Well, that's good. Oh, I should mention, I'm Ayato Hinomhara. Wow, I came to paint the park today. I'm not just trying to flirt. Why are you telling me your name? Are you flirting? Mishiro, you're very bad at reading signals. I just said I'm not. Introductions are a first step to breaking down barriers. So what's your name? I'm not telling you. Yeah, that's what I figured. So you actually did come to paint. You're a spiteful one, huh? Did you think I was carrying this clunky easel for show? Not really. Oh well. If you're not here for suicide, you should stick around for a bit. I get absent-minded when I'm painting, but still, it's lonely when no one's around. Any item which Mishiro has in the present, she does not have in the past and thus cannot use. Okay. Ayato's canvas. Nothing on it yet. I have a bit of a connection to Mirror Lake, so my feet just carried me here. Are you gonna jump into the lake? What am I doing here? Rental boats. Oh, it's just a sign. Mishiro occasionally saw people on boats. Can I get one of those? No, I can't. Ayato is focused in his painting and isn't looking at Mishiro. Well, I'm supposed to kill myself in these things, so let's go. It'll surely be painful. Jump in. Yeah. That what happened? Mishiro came to, standing before the mirror, though she still felt lake water in her nose. Her clothes were not even slightly wet. Uh oh. Yes, I met Ayato at Mirror Lake that day. I'm starting to remember a little more about myself. Just as Mishiro regained a piece of her memory, she felt as if she'd lost something important. Ah. Uh, hey, Shiny. Bronze key. Great. I now have access to the other things. Oh my god! Tree? Why? What did- Okay. It's fine. That tree was just angry. Understandably, I burned down his brother. What are those red handprints? What do they mean? Are they ghosts? Are the other spirits invisible? El Mishiro, come here. I mean over here, come on. What the heck? Look, look, it's amazing, another person. It's seriously rare for two souls to wander in such a short span of time. Mm-hmm. What? Stay away, creep. What? Oh, forgive me. 
but looking at you makes something nag at me. I don't quite understand why. Probably not acquainted or anything, right? Anyways, the name's Ryotaro. Probably. That's the name in this suit, so... Not like I remember it myself, so it feels strangely unreal. I'm Ishiro. Right. Nice to meet you. I was wandering this strange world for a bit before finding Yuzu here. There. What's with it, really? Feels like some other dimension. This is a world where souls with a wish end up. Can you remember your wish, Ryotaro? Wish? Hmm. I wonder. Oh, I wonder. <gasps> you can't remember anything exact, huh? Seems that way, like a fog over all of my memories. Well, yeah. I was like that at first. Mishiro's just special, I guess. Why is Yuzu telling people about me? Ah. Uh, when was at first? How long were you here? I haven't really been counting, so all I could say is... Really a while ago. A long time ago. I think it's been several years, maybe. So you died years ago? Probably. Long enough ago that I've forgotten... That I've gotten used to this place and having no memory. The only time I got any sort of memory back was the time I found a mirror with my reflection. I've seen other mirrors around this world, but they showed other people and nothing at all. The mirrors are deep in the realms. I found a mirror of mine earlier. Huh? Seriously? Mishiro, you've been pra- What? You've been really proactive while I'm not looking. While well, I wasn't looking. If you keep it up and find more mirrors, could you try to look for our mirrors too? I don't think it's a coincidence that you seem different from other souls, Mishiro. Just while you're at it, if you have time. Okay, where'd Yuzu go? Why is it just me and this guy? Um, hey, oh wait, no, there you are. Your head just blended in with the carpet. Deep in the realms, huh? I always stayed away because of all the evil spirits. Does that stuff not bother you, Mishiro? Not really. So, young lady, you're remembering who you are bit by bit. Get back our memories, grant our wish. What'll happen to us deceased after that? What? Surely we'll be at peace and go to heaven, right? Yeah. It's not like this is some kind of twisted game. Uh, Bronze Door. Realm of Beauty. Great. Pros process progress. What is that? That chandelier looks like it's gonna fall down on me. An angel-like statue with parts missing. This one isn't. Um. Hold on. Hey, Shadow Man. Am I supposed to avoid you? Probably. Uh. Yep. I'll just, uh, get out of here. There's nothing on the dilapidated shelves. Only- wait a minute. One of the sacks contains a bottle of something blue. I'll take it. Blue paint. Hey. Who are you? Get out of here. Uh-oh! Whoa, hey! Whoa, hey! You're quick! But that doesn't really matter much, because you're slow. I mean, I'm smart. I mean, what? Alright, I need a sa- <gasps> Yes, brilliant! How did I forget that thing? One of the sacks contains a bottle of something blue, take it! I got it! Who are you? Get out! Of here! And- Oh! Oh! My god! I got freaked out! <sighs> Sorry about that. <laughs> okay. Let's do that again. <laughs> Wow, I'm slipping up real bad. I'm getting very anxious. Gotta just dodge him carefully. I don't even know how the shadow person saw me that one time. Am I doing this right? Yeah, sure. Okay. Now to get this thing. Blue paint. Who are you? Get out of here. Come at me, bro! What? Oh, God, why did I... I did it the first time, but it killed myself because I'm stupid. Minecraft, please don't do anything stupid. I can't... Um... Okay. Now, we do this. Let's do this. Got it. 
Who are you? Get out of here. The blue paint will be mine. Come on, take it. Take it. Good. Now get ready to, to dodge. Serpentine. Serpentine! Oh, she didn't do it! You anticipated my movements. Okay. The point of attack will come. At the five hairpin turns ahead. Uh, oh, wow! Okay, here we go. Wow, 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 wow. Goodbye. Goodbye. See you later, alligator and wow, crocodile. Woo! I'm gonna save again. <laughs> to the right side. Hey, teddy bear. Teddy bear stares with round eyes. They're all very cute. Pull the lever. Give me progress or give me death. There was a distant sound. Did I do the puzzle? Oh, there was a... Hi, Shadow Man. How are you doing? A wave. A rising wave of artistry stirs within me. My arm is a divine tool, creating life with brush and paint. It is my duty to paint life's beauty on the white surface. Someone, anyone will do. Bring me paint, the root of life, to me. You want some paint? I got some blue paint. Is this good, or do you need red paint? You don't, you don't want that? Oh no, here we go. Oh, is that blue paint? The blue paint was snatched away. Good, good, but not yet. I lack the colors for full expression. More, more, bring more paint to a root of life. Okay, buddy, I'll get you your paint. You artists sure are picky. Um. Ah, oh, great. Choose wisely. Okay, do I go the path with the blood stain or the path without the blood stain? Now here's the thing, right? The one with the blood stain means that a trap triggered, and the one without it means one didn't. But that doesn't mean that there isn't a trap here. If anything, the one with the blood stain might be the one with the safe trap because it's already been triggered. I'm gonna do it. All right, let's let's do this. Let's get let's get on with it. Wait, no, I wanna go down. What's up? What's up? I'm the living painting, Julia Maria. I can speak, and blood even runs through me. That hardly holds any meaning in this lonely place. But at least stay with me for a bit, dear. What if I stab you? Mishiro cut the painting with a knife. You! How could you? For what? Red drips out of painting. Oh, I need a, I need a jar to collect that, right? I do, and then that's gonna be my red paint. Wow, we're so creative. This is like art attack. Mishiro Usui, master at uh, substitutions. Ah, it's a blood stain. The stone statue quietly limps. Be not greedy. Clean up after yourself. Thanks, Mom. The settee box contains an old plank. Don't be greedy, huh? Maybe I shouldn't take that. Maybe I should just take the path that's already laid out for me. Many broken and dirty bottles. I need one. Okay. And now you're gonna break when I cross. So I actually did need that because the greed was referring to the piles of gold. Great! Thanks! Thank you. Thank you for that. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna get that paint and there's nothing you can do to stop me. Let me just take that. There we go. Wooden blank. Why did that break him? Wait. Huh? Why? Because now I'm too heavy. Maybe I should go up first. The container's full of ordinary water. I can't do anything with it. Statues, a stone, fireplace, nothing. What can I do with this? Nothing. Oh wait! Why don't I just put the planks down before I do the thing? I'm so smart. Bam, I did it. Take it. There we go. Yeah, thank you. I should have seen that coming. Now then. Clean up after yourself. Be not... Clean up after yourself. 
What am I supposed to wash myself in the thing? But I wasn't an option. Yeah! But now what? What? Why should I kill myself now? I'm not even inside a mirror. Rur, 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 rur. Uh, I pressed that by accident. Okay. I'm not doing this right. I'm just gonna go the other way. Was this only one thing? No, there were two things. Okay, let's go through here first. Nothing in the dilapidated shelves. Why does that look so fresh? Uh, oh yeah, the trap room. This one. How can you both be traps? How am I supposed to make progress? I need those bottles, but I have to clean up after myself? The hell does that mean? Can I push the box in front of the thing to make the thing go? Oh, or I could just go around. Decorative- Oh, jeez! Many broken bottles. One clean one. Ah, there we go. Now I can, um, uh, do nothing really. I'll just go. It's a trick, you see. You gotta take the path less loose, lace, less loose, traveled. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. You, how could you for what? Red paint. D don't try to tell me. You did this for that. The painting fell silent. I'm sorry, painting, but I need this for reasons. Ah. Ah. Great. What goes this fall? What is that? Why, why is that happening to me? <laughs> I'll just save now. I won't die. Someone, any, what? Anyone will do. Just take the red paint. Red paint. The red paint was snatched away. Good, good. I need one more. One more. The root of life. Uh, I, I don't know the puzzle. What do I clean? I don't know what the f what does it want from me. Maybe I can kill myself. I'm gonna save and then I'm gonna try that. All right, items, knife, do it. What happens when you die in the afterlife? Nothing really. How do I get out of this room? Be not greedy. I didn't take the gold. Clean up after yourself. What does that mean? I don't have anything on me. I don't have anything on me. <laughs> I have a knife, a lantern, and an empty bottle. Do you want this? What? Why are you questioning me? Oh my god. Um. I can't use these things randomly. Maybe I... Um... I'm supposed to... Run. Right? Right? No? Three, two, one, go! Um... Hey man, you have something I can use to clean stuff up? No? Alright. Uh... Maybe I can... Was there something still here? I don't know what you want from me. Oh, wait, what if I did Clean up after yourself. Does it want me to go back to the blood room? How am I clean that up? What the hell am I supposed to do with this? There's nothing I can do here. I need to find out what the hell I'm supposed to do. Um... Clean up after yourself. Clean up after yourself. Everything must be clean. Very clean. That's why the dog had to die. Uh, was there another bronze door back here? It's a normal... That's the tree place. That's the gold door. Oh, here. Realm of Love. Now a warm dead illusion. Okay, let's check this place out. Hello, Shadow Man. Nice to see you here. Bonjour, mi do... Mi do re do mi. Will you be attending the Cracked Smile dinner party, young madam? Sure. I love dinner parties. I see. But madam, your face is too stiff for the Cracked Smile dinner party. If you insist on attending, perhaps you should find the smiling soul and work on your smile. Maybe I should just walk by, but about... One up, okay. 
Let's work on our smile. Save. I don't know if I'm doing this right. Hey, Shadow Child. Mi, do, re, do, mi. Sigh. I want something sweet. Huh? You want to meet the smiling soul? They're in here, but I don't want to let you in for free. It's my turf. You have anything to offer as a tribute? I have a lantern. You don't like that. Hey, it's a pumpkin. Hi, pumpkin. A pumpkin wearing a witch hat. A sweet smell wafts from its carved eyes. I'm gonna stab you. Mishiro swung the knife down on the pumpkin. The pumpkin took no damage. You're a strong pumpkin. What if I give you a lantern? No <gasps> You're a tough pumpkin. Okay, let's uh... I'm just gonna walk by you then. Oh, you're a doll! Ow! <laughs> How did you kill me? How did you... Oh, it's quite the tackle you got there. You should join a football team. Okay, so this is the bully doll that kills me. I'll just go around you. They're small hammers. Take one. Aha! And with this hammer, I can smash that pumpkin and take his hat for myself. Mishiro swung the hammer down. It was harder than expected. Uh... Um... Really? But if I leave, you're gonna smash me. No. Please break. You're not gonna break. I'm just gonna run away, and you're gonna kill me. Haya! Why, Mijiro? You let him get you! You totally just let yourself die there! Okay. More puzzles. More- <laughs> Hi! The doll stares at the round eyes. I wanna pat you on the head, cause you're so adorable. <laughs> I love you, doll. Why are you following me? Play the sound of the iron smirk. But know that a performance with no one seated is worthless. I know exactly what this is. Alright. <laughs> Hi, doll. Let's try this. I gotta get you seated down on this stool, and then I gotta play the song of my people. Come down. You stay right. Okay, you missed it. Come, come up. Come on. Come on, don't be shy. I just want you sitting on the stool. There you go. Don't follow me. Right, so... There you go. You like that? You like... What's that noise? There was a loud sound somewhere. How you doing, doll? <laughs> I love you, doll! Did the pumpkin die? <gasps> I want your hat! Oh, candy. Why is there candy in a pumpkin? Candies. Great. <gasps> oh no, this... Stop it! I stopped for a millisecond and then it got me. Okay, now we just gotta run and not stop. Hey pumpkin, you suck. Gotcha. Hey you. Mi do re mi. I want something sweet. You want to meet the smiling soul? They're in here, but I'm gonna give you this candy. Take this candy. Oh, you're giving me this. Nice stuff. I'll take it. There. Go on ahead. Sure. Thanks. Greetings. The smiling soul. Yes, that's me. I'm a seeker of love. A regular of the cracked smile dinner party. Oh. But your face is awfully stiff. I can't look. Let's train your smile a bit. You're gonna kill me. Now let's make things more fun. Death is beautiful, pain is pleasure, gratitude for sadness. Today we shall cut up and boil a pig's heart. See? It's getting more and more fun! Not yet, I'm afraid. Much too stiff. Come, let's keep practicing. Now, let's make things more fun. 
heads are coffins, light them aflame. Are those legs? If only all our blood could be orange juice. See, it's getting more and more fun! It is! It seems to have loosened up a bit, but it's hard to call it a natural smile. Once more. Wow! Now let's make things more censored! Blessed! Sterilized cubes of meat. The coroner was yesterday. I was hungry. Therefore, I bit off the pinky. See, censor? Getting more and more censored. Aw, oh, yeah. Hmm, well, early eligible for the cracked smile dinner party, I suppose. Uh, I just had a good idea. It may clear up your stiffness in one go. I think that's enough. Ah, very well. Don't let your smile break, or it'll make the attendees uncomfortable. You wouldn't want that. Can I see my smile? No, I can't. What's in the pantry? Wine bottles and glasses. Smile for one, smile for two. Angry or sad, or dead or rotten. Smile, smile, smile. Yeah, I agree. Why did he die? Where did he go? Greetings, sir. I am sure you will find that my smile is quite cracked. Bonjour, mi do re mi. Will you be attending the cracked smile dinner party, young madam? Yes. I see. A bit stiff, but a fine smile you have. That warped smile is perfect for this party. Oh, right ahead, madam. Hello, Shadow Man. Madam, it seems one person in the hall is an imitator who does not have the right to attend. Lying with their mouth, their smile fake. One who does not truly enjoy the party. If you should find them, you are free to do as you please with them. I'm... I will. How dare an infiltrator attend this fine gathering of cracked smiley folks. Hi. Smiling happiness pleasure. We who gather here seek these things unconditionally. Smile. Mishiro felt deeply unpleasant. Why not get elegant with some fine, I mean wine and cheese, a toast to the flesh blood of Venus? I agree. My smile twitched, Teddy Bears. These guys are everywhere. I was trained by the smiling spirit before coming. The third round was tough, but now I can smile. Smiling. I'm feeling really weird. The more I smile, the darker and twisted the game gets. What was that pizza again? The meaty one. It was quite delectable, haha. <laughs> uh, you must be referring to the meat lovers. I'm beginning to find this world very pleasant. This is me enjoying myself. That boiled fish meal wasn't my liking. What was it to my liking? The sauces made it much too sour. Smiling. I broke. I'll just poke around a bit more. I gotta talk to you first. Let me in. I'm a little stiff, I'll admit. Gotta get the guy. Who's, an Im who's the imposter? Are you it? Astounding, the range of colors in those dishes. Feeling a little sick now, so I'm catching the breeze. Smiling! I'm so unpleasant right now. Can I eat this stuff? No? I gotta eat some stuff to cool my nerves. A seafood dish. The fish was boiled whole and covered with two colors of sauce. Ah, uh, yes. It's locked with a special lock. What do I... Oh, wait. Hold on, this guy was an imposter. I was trained by the smiling spirit before coming. Smile. I'm going to kill you. With this knife. Or hammer. I can't? You're an imitator, aren't you? Die. Why? Will you be attending the cracked smile dinner party? Yes. I need to do this. I'm gonna do this. Before I end this. Why am I even here? There's like, always a puzzle that I can't do, and then I end up quitting and going to the other place. Astounding, the range of colors in those dishes, feeling a little sick now, so I'm catching the breeze. <sighs> what if I don't smile at you? You're an imitator like me, huh? Oh, then take this. I don't need it. What's through the door isn't something I'm after. A weary key. I braved the danger to come here, but I was off the mark. Now what to do? Well, you can go die. I'm just... That girl sneaking around strangely. Is she an imitator? The Cracked Smile Dinner Party needs no imitators. A hammering for uninvited guests. Oh dear. 
Minecraft. I'm just, oh dear, I'm okay. I'm not doing this okay. Oh, jeez. Why didn't, I mean, I could have just pointed out that guy. I mean, that'd be an asshole move, but I could have pointed him out. He was an imitator. Save. And a memory. I'm gonna do this one. In the next episode. Bye-bye.